the new Adjust Network with Cluster Detection command lets Starnet detect when multiple observations of a point have been stored with different point IDs and automatically combine them together in your adjustment. If we examine the network plot for this project, we can see several cases like this here, where the same point was observed and stored with multiple different point IDs. Instead of pouring through your adjustment results and field data, to identify and correct all of these situations by either manually changing the point IDs or by creating alias records, you can simply use Starnet to adjust your network with cluster detection. In the project options, the special page has a section where you can define your desired horizontal and vertical tolerances, and the listing file page has an option to include the cluster detection details in your final listing file. The Adjust Network with Cluster Detection command can be started from the Run menu or toolbar. It will go through a complete adjustment running through all iterations to converge at a solution just as if you had run the Adjust Network command, then it will analyze the results of that adjustment to identify any points that are within your specified tolerances and present the clusters it identified to you for review. Each cluster is presented in tree form and you can change which point ID to use for each cluster by selecting it from the list. The deltas for each point in the cluster are displayed for review and you can disable entire clusters or individual observations from that cluster. When you continue, another adjustment will be performed with those clustered points aliased together. That extra redundancy will tighten up your network, and we can see in the network plot that only a single point is shown for that cluster. With even a moderately sized project, this can save you hours of tedious, error-prone work.